Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. We're going to be playing another paranormal game, a paranormal ritual, and this one is said to be one of the most dangerous that you can play. And it involves summoning this rather scary sounding entity known as the Midnight Man. So let's take a look at the steps for this ritual. Gather all supplies for the ritual. You'll need a candle, a lighter or matches, piece of paper, pen or pencil, pin, wooden door and salt. Get ready to begin the game. You must start just before midnight. Take your piece of paper and write your full name onto it. This even includes your middle name. Now, draw a drop of your own blood using the pin and place it onto the paper. Then make sure every light inside of your house is turned off before proceeding. Head to your wooden door and place this piece of paper you've written your name upon in front of it. Then light and place your burning candle upon the paper. This step needs to be carefully timed. You will need to knock on the door 22 times in a row with your last knock delivered at exactly midnight. Now open the door, immediately blow out the candle and then close the door once again. You should now relight your candle. You have just invited the Midnight Man into your home and your goal is to now avoid him at all costs. Keep your lit candle, your match or lighter and salt on you at all times until the end of the game. Begin to walk around your house, holding onto your lit flame. This must remain your only source of light. Do not stay in any one place as this will increase the chances of being found by the Midnight Man. If at any time your candle is extinguished, you must immediately relight it within 10 seconds. Continue this step until 3.33 a.m. If you fail to light your candle again, you must immediately surround yourself with salt and remain in that protective circle until 3.33 a.m. At 3.33 a.m., the game will end. You should then turn on all lights. You can now stop moving around or exit your salt circle. But be warned, the Midnight Man may not have left your home. You ready? Ready. Ew. Alrighty, so that is pretty much how you summon the Midnight Man, how you play the Midnight Game. The Midnight Man. <laughs> it's actually a really creepy one. I don't think that we've played one before we have to like use your own blood. Yeah, actually, yes, you. No, oh, no, it was a fingernail. That's right. <laughs> the doll. Where you put the fingernail. Yeah, that anyway, was a fingernail. Different episode. Anywho, now there is something that we need to discuss because more than one player can play this game at a time. Are you down? Do you want to make your own letter to the midnight, this midnight dude, and leave it out in the front doorstep and stuff? I suppose. You want to? Yes. <laughs> Who wants to, guys? See, I'm not for forcing this at all. Um, I, I do need to say though that this is supposed to be one of the most, uh, the more dangerous games. The Midnight Man is a bit of a bugger. He's not very, very nice at all. So some of the reports of what happens if he catches you, because like throughout the game, you know, you need to yeah. stay away from this guy. Some of the reports are that he will make you hallucinate your worst fear until the end of the game so 3 33 a.m which i mean you all know my worst fear birds so imagine that the house just gets filled with birds or something anyway so there's that also another one says if he catches you he will remove your organs oh. one by one slowly and painfully <laughs> Right, okay, you didn't tell me that before you started this. <laughs> but you've already agreed. <laughs> so we're playing. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you probably want to know what happens, like signs that he's around. Okay. And if any of these signs kind of happen to you while you're playing, like, move. So what are they? What are they? <laughs> Don't hang around. It's pretty much like normal ghosty stuff. You might see him as like a shadow person sudden drop in temperature so things could get really cold really quickly you might hear whispers disappointed voices or your candle might go out and you know you have to relight the candle yep. within 10 yep. seconds yeah uh also the candle is your only source of light throughout okay. this game Do so not... these fake bluey lights we've been doing throughout all the off. reenactment will yep. all be so off. no torches uh no cell phone light no I don't know. No Any other source of light, you can only use the candle okay. for light. No sleeping. Don't fall asleep. Mm. That was going to be a hard one for Jared. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> uh, the blood that you use, 
It has to be your own blood. So like, don't go off and steal someone's blood <laughs> and call for the midnight man. Actually, Weird. I don't think we encourage anybody to actually do this at home, so. Yeah, seriously, like this is one that I'm like, yeah, don't do this one, guys. Uh, you cannot leave your home while you're playing the game. That's a pretty standard rule for these games. And don't provoke him. Don't provoke the midnight man. He really, he doesn't like that. Yeah. So where does this midnight man or midnight game originate from? Or where, what's the, the background behind this they one? Don't really say with this one i mean the internet <laughs> so this is like one of those internet <laughs> yeah just one of those internet out. games and i've seen okay. heaps of other youtubers play this I'm one i'm expecting and... a lot to happen tonight are you no <laughs> oh. <laughs> should we just get into it I mean, actually what does the midnight man look like i haven't seen they just said um signs that he's around he might appear as like a shadowy figure so no one's really written this is exactly what actually the i do i think like. i think we do have a video clip of what he looks like check this out that midnight man looked very familiar to me <laughs> 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 who anyway, I wonder who man? that could be. <laughs> anyway, let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Come on. Alright guys, so it is like extremely close to midnight. Jared and I are pretty much ready to start playing. And what we've done is we actually have the GhostTube SLS app running at the front door. And we've already kind of uh, run it for a few minutes already just to kind of test that the, it's not picking up any anomalies because if it was mapping, you know, like the flowers or a pattern on the front door, then it wouldn't be as compelling if we catch something later. So imagine we catch like the Midnight Man strolling up at midnight coming through the door or something. That would be amazingly creepy. Uh, but that is kind of running out here. So we'll be monitoring. This is literally the front door to my house. So we've been, been monitoring that. But we have our candles and everything ready to set up down here. So I'm just going to light them. Should I just light yours, Jared? Yeah, well, well. Okay, so we can close this and start knocking. So we're gonna come knock, Jared. Do I have to we're knock gonna... too? Yeah, you're playing. Okay. We're gonna knock 22 times. Are you okay. close to the door? Yep. Ready? Yep. Now we need to relight them. And do not let this go out, Jared. It'll be very bad, very dangerous if it goes out. Okay. Now, I don't know if the Midnight Man is in the house, but we're supposed to hide from him. You don't have a lighter. You can light mine if I need it. Quick, okay. can you? You've only got 10 seconds though. I 
not be walking upstairs in the dark. Trying to avoid the midnight man. It's kind of scary. Oh my god, I can just hear him up there. Okay guys, all I can hear is the wick of my candle burning. There's a mirror in this room. You can just see me in it. <laughs> Midnight man. You hear? Amy's collection of haunted artifacts. She's actually been collecting these. I think she's gonna do an episode on them soon and go through some of them with you guys. Creepy. I can hear stuff, but I think it's just Jared scrummaging around upstairs. I look very creepy. Oh my god. Let's go downstairs. It's very hard to walk downstairs in the dark. What are you doing up there? I can just see you scrummaging around. I was walking upstairs and the cardboard cut out Freddy Krueger was standing there. <laughs> and it scared the out of me. He was standing right there. Oh my god. He was standing right there upstairs. <laughs> You love it. You should get rid of that thing. No way. He's saying. Is one of the symptoms of the midnight man getting a sore back and a sore hand? No, that's a symptom of carrying around camera and candle. <laughs> Just for the record, I think. It's like 12.05. Oh. <laughs> it's like we've been walking around forever. Yeah, we got like ages to go. <laughs> oh, like man. three and a half hours. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Is that you? That was me. Hello. How are you feeling, Jared? My hand and back hurt. I mean, bring your candle closer to my face because it's like really hard to get some light. <laughs> this is how we spend our camera. weekends, everybody. Yeah, happy weekend. Well, don't put that too close to my hair, please. Oh, your candle smells really good. Ooh, don't get it in my nose. Don't blow it out. <laughs> don't blow it out. Your candle smells really good. I think it's um, it's like watermelon, lemongrass, oh. or something. Watermelon and oh. lemonade. Watermelon sugar. Hi. <laughs> Is that the flavour? No. <laughs> so we've been walking around for like, it feels like ages. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't um, seen, heard or felt anything weird, have you? No, but we've been chit-chatting. Hang on, why don't we just like listen? Because I've just Shut been chit-chatting. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Next minute, bloody midnight man comes and rips out all my organs or something. Your candle looks like it's about to go out. It has looked like it's about to go out this whole time. I think I picked a dodge candle. Mine's like, pretty good. Yours is good and yours smells nice. Mine is like dim as fudge. Oh yeah, I'm not going to tilt it because... Oh, yours is going to go out. Oh my out. god. So if it goes, if your candle goes out, what, what does that mean? What candle happens? goes out, you have 10 seconds to relight it. If you fail to relight it within 10 seconds, you need to stay in that one spot and surround yourself with salt. Salt. Salt until 3.33 a.m. when the game ends. I'm not sitting in a circle of salt for like two and a half hours. Well, we're not even supposed to be sitting here right now doing this. Oh. 
We're supposed to be constantly moving. How come we're breaking the rules then? Because nothing's really happening. I feel like, for, for us at least anyway, we're playing this game to see, to experience, to have something happen and nothing is happening. So I almost feel like maybe we should just break all the friggin' rules. Hmm? Do you have any of your ghost hunty gadgety things? Not on me, but if we go upstairs, I can get some tools. And um, I mean, we can start just breaking on the rules and seeing if that makes something happen. Hang on, hang on. Midnight man, are you here? Give us a sign. I was just waiting for your candle to go out there. <laughs> yeah, that would have been yeah. freaky. <laughs> that would have been. I feel like when I said it, it flickered yeah. as well. And I was like, oh no, here we go. What's his name? Candyman. No, what's his name? Candyman. Mid Midnight man. Midnight man. Midnight man, are you here? If you are, make my candle go out. It looks like there's movement behind us. I think Where? it's the candle flame and my shadow. And like the candle's also creating like a Little lens flare, flare, like right near your head. Actually, I think there's one near my head as well. Oh yeah, lens flare, so it's debunked. Wait, mm. are you sure there wasn't anything behind me? Oh, that's creepy. Wait, what was behind me? <laughs> I don't know. Let's take everything and go upstairs. And then when we get up there, we'll blow out these candles, which is the biggest no-no. Blow it out. When we get upstairs. And then I'll break the other rules, which are like, we're not going to do salt at all. I'll turn some lights on. I mean, maybe we can go to sleep as well when, you know, feel myself sleeping before the game ends and we'll reach out and use some tools okay hopefully you guys are watching this video <laughs> and we didn't die i still have all my if you're ones. watching it then we uploaded it and it's fine and that's a spoiler we didn't die but yeah shall we yep all right guys so this room might seem familiar <laughs> This is where we play most of my paranormal games in the bedroom and I figure this is where we should start kind of breaking the rules So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow our candles out We're gonna wait oh, 10 no. seconds And hopefully our organs like our bodies get turned inside out or something <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. Are you ready? Jerry? Well, if you're watching this it definitely didn't happen Yeah Spoiler sport <laughs> I'll blow mine out first so okay. if we die you can watch me die first before you die. And then I get out a camera and make an episode out of it. <laughs> Ready? Yep. I feel like that's been 10 seconds, right? Yep. Did anything happen to you? Nope. They turned the light on then. I think my eye stings. It's that's probably midnight man. <laughs> that's probably like smoke in it or something from the candle. I don't think that's a midnight man symptom. Are you ready? Mm hmm. A bit nervous. Ooh, that's bright. Nothing's happening. Let's get some tools out and start reaching out. We just turned the K2 on and it's doing stuff. Like non-stop. You know what though? It's so rhythmic. It has to be getting interference off of something. Like notice how it's exactly pulsating in the same motion. I noticed that, but like maybe that's also a sign that it's intelligent. Like what if you um hang on, let me think like so Can what's you his stop name? this rhythm, Midnight Man? To prove that you're here. Or make it go all the way up to red. We've put this yeah thing. we have it's gone off on the bed before but, yeah, but never rhythmic. this much or this hang on let me move my phone away my phone's over here move yours off the bed but that's like yeah you can just throw it in there or something it's the same let me just check the electric blanket you got the an electric blanket on well that would be it oh that was it oh jared <laughs> 
Okay, that's debunked. <laughs> debunked. Oh my gosh. We idiots. K2, I've just put Ghost 2 on just to test how that reacted to the bed. The K2 is going off like it's stuck on three lights, if you can see that. But um, I thought, oh, the bed's still on. It's not on. It's probably my phone though. Um, if I put it all the way over there, it's not oh, focus. Ghost tube does detect it. It's going in waves like that was. Oh, cool. You know what? That's good because I've had some reviews on Ghost tube say EMF meters fake or doesn't work or whatever. And but it works the same as. It's working the same as that. EMF it's going meter. up and down, as you can see on screen. Yeah. It's going up and down with the bed. I'm going to turn it off again. Hopefully it stops now. Yeah, now it's stable. <laughs> so there you go guys, it does work. And cat ball this one. Yeah, we got a cat ball go off. I don't know if I recorded that in time. Oh, things are starting to happen, Ames. Well, so far we've had the electric blanket go off. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not paranormal in the cat ball was cool. The cat ball went off. Alright guys, so we thought that we would just go through our ghost tube SLS footage and see if we picked anything up. And yes, we are both wearing robes. It's freezing. <laughs> it's really cold here. It's like winter in Australia still, guys. So don't judge. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we've got time to kill, so we might as well review this thing. Yeah. Well, technically, we broke the rule of leaving the house. Or you did. So Jared left the house for like a split second to get the ghost tube app, which we left running outside. But so. the rule is don't leave your home, isn't it? Isn't the front yard still like home? I don't know. Eh. Anyway, alright. Whatever, me, we did me, it. Alright, let me bring this up. So there's. So we're just gonna scrub through the footage and see if we see any anomalies. I will probably, I'll probably do a full review when I edit the video, but let's just scrub. So there's you at the beginning. <laughs> Is that me? And now you're sitting down lighting the candles. You've gone in, shut the door. Now you've both taken the candles back in. Now I can see us walking around. That's when we're walking around with the candles. Yeah, you can kind of see us through the frosted windows. Oh. Did you see? Ah, oh, there's like yeah. a little critter. I'm playing it now. I think as you can kind of see the candles, that must be one of us walking past though. That's so cool that it gets it through the um, glass though, because that glass is frosted. That's like heaps friggin' yeah. Okay, well that's definitely debunked though, that's clearly that, us. Yeah, that's let us. Me, let me keep I don't forward. think that's the Midnight Man coming to visit us. Alright, keep scrubbing. Actually, I'm quite impressed <laughs> that it sees that through the window. Oh, oh wait, that's us that's getting... That's just us at the end. That's really cool. That's cool, not paranormal, but still cool. Yeah. Also guys, you can like download that app for free and test it yourselves. It's currently only on Apple, coming soon on Android, but yeah. Cool. Too bad we didn't get anything though. Yeah, I wish we got the Midnight Man, but he might still be in the house in the room with us. Surely he would have found us by now. Well, the Capital did go off. Capital went off. That's not definitive proof though, so maybe we should reach out again and try something different. Now that we're in the darkness, I thought, this is a pretty good opportunity for the Midnight Man to like come and get us, right? I've got three cat balls on the floor down to my right. So if any go off, like we'll know about it. Um, but those are doodle balls that need to be physically moved to light up. This thing here, which we've already kind of seen go off, is a K2 meter. That measures electromagnetic like fields around it. Oh, hello. I don't like that going off behind me, hey. Is that you, Midnight Man? Can you light up one of the other balls to show us that you are here? Maybe you can come grab my hand or something? Midnight Man? I don't know if you're here. We tried to summon you. Can you give us a sign that you're here? I know normally people are scared of you and they don't want to come face to face with you, but we do. What 
was that? I don't know. I heard like a chair move or something. Should I go downstairs and check it out? Yeah, should I come or should I stay here? Maybe you stay here and film yourself with the other camera and I'll go. Alright, so you're gonna go downstairs and check the noise? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna stay here and see if, I don't know, right. minimal cat balls goes off. You know, I don't know what that noise could have been. It sounded, it did sound like a chair moving downstairs. It sounded like inside the house. It probably wasn't something outside. You know what I mean? Like it could, you know how sometimes you hear a noise and it sounds like something, but it, it's not like it, it just sound, kind of sounds like that. Maybe it was something that was outside that just sounded like it was inside, I don't know. Uh, there's a weird echo or something. I'm so tired. How long has it been? Mm, not that long. I think it's like, I don't know. I think it's after two or something. Mm. Um, well, I mean, nothing. I feel like nothing substantial has really happened as far no, as like we've been breaking, the actual midnight man. We've been breaking all the rules. We've as been well. trying to break all the freaking rules. There's one rule we haven't broken yet. What's that? You're not allowed to sleep. I would love to go to sleep right now. Well, maybe we can do that. So what I'm thinking is maybe we'll set up a camera. I don't know why, but I feel like people really like when we set up camera while we sleep. That's creepy. Is it? <laughs> I feel like that is like a legitimate thing though. Like paranormal stuff happens while you sleep. When you're not uh, expecting it or during certain times of the night or... Yeah, I suppose. Stuff like that, you know yeah, what I mean? Fair enough, fair enough. Before we set up for bed, so what's happened so far? So we've had one cat will go off. We had the electric blanket set off the K2 meter and goes to. We debunked SLS. <laughs> so cat ball went off. <laughs> cat ball went off. <laughs> oh, something moved downstairs. Oh, yeah. It sounded the, like yeah. That the noises that I heard that I went down to investigate, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I hear the little lamp tink then. I don't know. That happened when I moved. So I was... Anyway. I don't know. <laughs> so... Should we wait a little bit, wait a bit, a little bit, a little bit longer and then set up And then bed. we'll get into bed. Okay. Yeah. Hey Crypt Keepers, just checking in. It is the morning after, technically it's the afternoon, but it is the day after we played the midnight game and Jared and I are both still alive. So the midnight man, I guess, didn't uh, hate us too bad for breaking all of his rules. Uh, I hope that you guys have fun watching this paranormal game. I had a lot of fun playing it. I feel like this one seems like one of the creepiest ones and I really felt that when I was walking around the house with just a candle. It's such an odd, you know, behavior to do in, in your own house. Normally you don't do things like that, or I don't at least. <laughs> but I have been having such a ball playing all these paranormal games with you guys and I really, really hope that you guys enjoy them too. Leave me comments below if you enjoyed this video or if you have other paranormal games that you would like me to play. I've got some really cool ones sort of lined up and really, really cool ideas, not just paranormal games, uh, but things to do with hauntings of all sorts and I've got a few investigations lined up as well that I'm very, very excited for. So there are some very cool things and 
some very spooky things coming to my channel soon. So if you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to do more reading about the Midnight Game, how to play, and all that good stuff, then head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can follow me. I'm at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I am also posting bonus content and bonus videos over on my Patreon and my YouTube members, and I'm linking them down below. But thank you so much for watching, Crypt Keepers. Until next time.